okay so the outermost part okay uh, outermost part of a kidney is a cortex okay the outer thick part if you uh, if you ever got a chance to see a kidney okay so take a cross section of it okay uh, uh, cut it long uh, in a cross section way and just open it and you will clearly see uh, the differences each and every part so this outer part is the cortex then after cortex there is there comes medulla okay and medulla is basically it is it consists of uh, pyramid like structures like these okay and after that these all pyramids are opening in a structure that is known as okay these all are collecting together and if i just draw it more boldly Okay, so they are being collected like that. Okay, so they are all joining here at this part. Or we can say that these pyramid like structures are opening in this structure. Okay, then it has uh, Okay, anyways, pardon the drawing. It's not that good. Okay. So the main thing that we need to understand is that if you see that this is the a very thick region. Okay, if you see this part, this area is slightly a lot of uh, it is very thick. Okay. So this thick area or that thick part is known as cortex. Okay, it is the outermost part of a kidney and this part is known as cortex. If you want, you can write renal cortex if you want to avoid it, so you can avoid it. Then after cortex, this area, if you see this area okay these are the uh, pyramid like structures okay i will just draw them like that
okay so this area this is the medulla so if we are uh, opening a kidney or if we are cross sectioning it so kidney is divided into two parts okay outer is cortex and then medulla okay inner one is the medulla and the outer one is the cortex then if you see that these uh, pyramid like structures that i have drawn okay these fibrous like structures these cone like structures so these structures are known as pyramids okay renal pyramids or you can say medullary pyramids renal pyramids or you can say simply say pyramids okay uh, but it better okay because they are present in in the medulla so you can write medullary pyramids but if you simply say the renal pyramids so it is the uh, same thing then this uh, this area these invaginations these this area this part of uh, the kidney is known as calyx although i haven't explained this part this is not necessary uh, it doesn't come in the basic parts then this area that uh, the yellow point where all the draining from the medulla is uh joining or combining or what we say so this is this main area is known as renal pelvis or simply you can say pelvis okay where all the medulla a uh, medullary pyramids where the uh, pyramids are opening or collecting in a common uh, thing and this big yellow structure if you see so this is known as ureter okay and these two and these two veins which i have drawn so one is um, like uh, this is the renal if you say this is the renal artery so other one is the renal vein okay so these are the basic uh, components or the basic parts of of a kidney and as uh, every organ every organ whether they are the lungs whether they are uh, they are heart brain each and everything is protected by a lining of epithelial cells a sheet of epithelial cells so this kidney is also covered with a fine or very thin sheet like structure okay that is present outside the capsule okay if i draw it with the yellow so it would be nice okay so this is lining the kidney from outside like that okay. and it is very very thin okay this sheet or this lining is very thin so this lining that is protecting the kidney is known as renal capsule okay this lining is known as renal capsule if we are talking about the lungs so lungs have pleural membranes if we are talking about the heart so heart is covered by a pericardial membrane uh, if we are talking about the brain so brain is covered with a meningeal membrane okay because uh, it has the meninges so it is known as meningeal membrane even our spinal cord is also covered with um, uh, with layers 
even each and every organ whatever the organ is it has its own outer covering okay so it uh, and have a proper name for it so in case of kidney if I, uh, when we are discussing the structure of a kidney so kidney uh, outer layer or the most uh, uh, the layer that protects it is the renal capsule so any question related to this no miss thank you okay Okay, now before um, going to further in details of uh, this thing. Okay, first let's cover the kidney, then we can cover different other topics. But kidney is a very large topic. Um, okay. So now uh, if in exams you are being asked to write the characteristic sticks of the kidney so what is what are the characteristics of the kidney how you are going to define the kidney okay it can be a four marks question it can be a three marks question it can be a five marks question so you should know so kidney is basically a bean shaped structure you can see uh, that the diagram which i have made so it is like that so the beans whether they are white beans whether they are red beans they are in this shape so if you are uh, if you want to write the characteristics of the kidney so whenever you are uh, in exam you are right uh, or asked to uh, define any organ or anything so first keep in mind that you have to the first sentence should define the structure of that particular thing and after that it should define the function okay so they can cover your two points okay these if you focus on the structure of that particular uh, organ or or anything and the function you should know the structure you should know the function two things of each and everything you should know uh, in bio so whenever a three marks question come or a four marks question come you should be able to answer them so first of all define with the structure and then the function so if we talk about the structure so it's a bean shaped structure bean shaped organ you can say or bean shaped structure and then uh, the size of uh, a kidney is the 10 centimeter long and it is a uh, it is enclosed by a thin uh, like the capsule which i have told you but the scientifically capsule is a, a normal word a local word and if you are uh, talking about from in terms of medical so we say it that membrane that capsule is known as peritoneum okay so enclosed by a enclosed by a thin membrane okay these all are the physical characteristics okay then on each kidney okay if this is a kidney so it contains a gland on it okay there is a gland present on it and that is known as adrenal gland we will uh, discuss this gland in the chapter of hormones when we are uh, discussing the hormones so we will discuss this organ in detail there but this gland is present on the kidney in the form of a triangular or in the form of a pyramid okay so if we just take a cross section of that uh, or if we just separately see this gland so it is somewhat like that and it is present or uh, located or um, appeared on the top of the kidney and now the longitudinal uh, sections like as i have told you that if you cut a kidney in the two parts 
so kidney is uh, the outer cortex it is divided into outer cortex cortex is the darker region okay it's a dark a darker region i will tell you the reason that why it's it's darken uh, and then we have the medulla the inner one so medulla is slightly lighter region okay this is not darker so medulla is lighter because medulla contains all the tubes of nephron okay so every tube is coming in the medulla whether proximal or the distal tubule or the loop of hanel or whatever it is so everything is coming in the medulla part if we go here okay these things so all of these things these and these they comes in the medulla and this baumann capsule okay it's a capsule like a structure so it it is only present in the cortex so this that is why it uh, this structure this baumann capsule is uh, present like that okay it is in this shape so it is slightly thick in in its structure or in its self it's a capsule like a structure so this these baumann capsules are present in the cortex area of a kidney okay they are present here like that so that's why this area is slightly darker okay because this, this these uh, nephronal uh, uh, baumann capsules are present over here medulla is slightly lighter comparatively to the uh, cortex because it contains only the tubules whatever the tubules are there now medulla consists of a cone like a structure we can say cone or pyramid pyramid it's uh, uh, is itself a name so that's why we are not saying it pyramid but we will uh, say it a cone like a structure okay so medulla contains many cone shaped structures that are known as pyramids Uh, if you are putting the renal pyramid so it is uh, also well and urine is dropped continuously from the pyre uh, from the tips of the pyramids into the funnel shaped space known as pelvis okay so when there are different pyramids okay that are present in so the tips okay their tips are opening in a common area so that common area is known as pelvis okay so the urine from whatever the urine is being filtered from a glomerular filtrae and then it is coming here in the medulla so it is dripping in here in the pelvis region all of the urine from each nephron each nephron is filtering the urine and it is then uh, dripping into the uh, pyramids and then pyramids are releasing them into the pelvis so after pyramids the urine is dripping continuously dripping from the tips urine is continuously dripping from the tips of pyramids into the pelvis okay so you can use the word funnel shaped as well okay so uh, funnel shaped spaces the if you are going to de define the structure of pelvis so you can write it's a um it's a funnel shaped structure
or you can say or write the word spaces funnel shaped spaces or funnel shaped structure so the pelvis is basically like that okay so pelvis is is in this shape so it's like a funnel although it's a slightly tilt but uh, the normally funnel that we use in our homes for, for like in order to transferring something in the sh uh, short neck uh, container or any bottle or anything so we we use the structure that is known as funnel okay so this structure is a funnel so this pelvis is look like that okay it resembles to this structure if we see the pelvis although the pelvis has different uh, tubules it uh, in real it looks like that but it is fun functioning exactly like a funnel because this pelvis is opening in the ureter so now the next part after the pelvis this after this pelvis so this tube like structure is known as ureter so after collecting the urine from all of the parts uh, that uh, the pelvis is giving the uh, draining the urine in the ureter any question these are all the no, basic yeah so these are all the basic overview we haven't yet gone in the detail of each and everything this is just a superficial uh, introduction to every part of the uh, kidney okay so uh, is this easy or difficult this normal normal okay yeah uh, in the beginning uh, the the words the names or everything is difficult okay let's uh, revise from the beginning so that you guys can understand them in a easy way we started from excretion in the human okay so excretion is basically the removal of waste substances if uh, so we are not saying uh, the ejection as the excretion uh, but excretion means whatever the toxic substance is present in your body if it is being removed by any organ so that is the excretion okay so three organs that perform this task is the liver lungs and the skin and even the kidney so kidney is the main excretory organ uh, the very main excretory organ but besides kidney there are other three organs that are like liver lungs and the skin so the three uh, excretory products that are uh, uh, if examiner may ask you to write so that is urea carbon dioxide and bilirubin and then if we talk about the kidney so kidney is uh, if we is if i is uh, kidney is the base the basic unit of kidney is the nephron and kidney is a bean shape like a structure and it is the excretory organ it is one of the excretory organ and the basic unit is the nephron so the basic parts of the kidney are the cortex which is the outermost part and it is darker in uh, darker then we have the medulla okay then uh, after cortex then we have the medulla then we have uh, the pyramids okay and then pelvis then we have the veins and then we have the ureter okay these are the basic parts they haven't mentioned the uh, pyramids because pyramids are present in the medulla so medulla is defined here and it is uh, understood that pyramids are present in the medulla so uh, here i didn't uh, write pyramid again but when we are discussing the structure of kidney in detail so we individually uh, see the pyramid then if we talk about uh, the uh, basic parts of a nephron so nephron is basically a tube like structure okay and it has the main thing that is capsule okay this is the bowman's capsule 
or and then this capsule has uh, different veins going from it okay so its basic function is to filter out the blood then these are extending okay i'm just making a rough uh, diagram not a very exact diagram but just to understand you that so this part is the proximal part this part is the distal tubule then we have uh, this part this this area this is the loop of hadel okay and these are the collecting ducts so this is the basic nephron structure so you just memorize uh, like for the today your homework is to memorize those uh, those names proximal to buell distal to buell bowman capsule collecting duct loop of hanel and the parts of kidney now if we uh, comes toward the structure of kidney so outermost darker region is the cortex then the inner one is the medulla medulla contains the pyramids uh, then we pyramids are opening into the renal pelvis renal pelvis is uh, following through the uh, ureter and also kidney also contains the renal artery and renal vein and the whole kidney is covered with a renal capsule which is also known as uh, scientifically we can say it peritoneum at the top of the kidney there is a gland that is known as adrenal gland okay so these are some characteristics of uh, the kidney it is bean shaped it is uh, uh, it has the thin peritoneum membrane it is 10 cm and and so on so uh, we keep this class till here okay and from inshallah today we will uh, discuss the rest of the uh, things like how the kidney is performing the function what is the we will uh, understand the structure of nephron and then we will uh, go a step by step with each uh, uh each thing of uh, each step of the filtration that how the things are filtered here so if you people have any question you guys can ask no miss thank you okay till here you just read uh, these topics from the book okay if you read it so you can uh, understand uh, things more well okay so allah hafiz